One more thing I want to make very clear to the world. I got asked recently, someone come up to me on the street and they said, why are you doing this? You have money. You can just disappear, fuck girls, drive supercars, go on yachts. It's it's almost it's, it's midnight here. I just jumped on a jet back. I've got shit to do. Why am I with all my money and time taking time out of my life to try and help other people and teach other people? And it's a good question. I understand why he asked it because I a lot of people in my position would just vanish. They don't want to make enemies. They don't want to upset the matrix. They want to keep their Instagram accounts. They want to keep girls and and all that dumb shit. But I've always had an enemy. In my entire life, I was always fighting against something, whether it was an opponent or even being broke. I was fighting against being poor. I've always lived life waking up every day feeling like I had an enemy at the gate. And that's the only way I feel comfortable. And now the new enemy is the Matrix and the New World Order. And it is my imperative to just speak the truth and do my best to make God happy with me and my ancestors happy with me, including my father, by standing up for what I believe is truly right. And that's why I do the things I do. All of you at home know this. Perhaps I'm on the front line and I'm taking the most flack and it may look like I'm the guy who's going through the most crap right now. That's fine. But we are all in this battle together. You are either in this battle against the matrix because once you have your life together, once you're truly happy and you're truly strong and your finances are strong and you think for yourself, once you resist the slave mind, you're automatically against the matrix. So your choices are either to resist the slave mind and join the battle as the resistance, like you people are, or accept the slave mind. But then the battle is different. The battle isn't against the matrix anymore. Then the battle is against yourself. You're fighting against your own weight. You're fighting with your wife who doesn't love you anymore. You're fighting with your own depression. You're going to have to fight. You either fight against yourself and your unhappiness because you have caved to the matrix and its programming, or you resist the slave mind and enjoy the resistance. This fight is not going anywhere for anybody. It is here to stay. And it's going to stay for the entirety of our lives. And you need to make a choice. The reason I am fighting is because I don't want the other side. I refuse to say things I don't believe. I refuse to cower and cuck and let my mind be poisoned. I refuse. Now, yes, I'm charging first in front of the in front of my army into battle. Yes, I'm going to take a lot of flack to do that. But I don't see any other choice. And that's why I'm here and I'm doing these things.